Hey, hey, fam. Thank y'all so much for being here with me, tuning in and tapping in. Y'all already know who and what it is, so let's just go ahead and tap in this spirit. Get this TP out real quick. See what's really going on in this general collective energy. But no matter what is going, what comes out, fam, please only take what resonates with you and leave the rest. We got union right here. We'll continue on your current path. So some of y'all want to know if you're on the right path when it comes to a certain situation. Spirit said, yes, you're in perfect alignment here, fam. Yeah, but in, yeah, and whenever you come across the message, that's exactly when Spirit has it for you. To all the subscribers and members of the channel, I thank y'all so, so much for rocking and rolling with me. I greatly do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Even if you're not subscribed, fam, or a member of the channel, <laughs> I thank you so, so much for coming. And just viewing the mess and spending some of your time with me. I greatly do appreciate you. It says I'm finna knock all this ish over. Yeah, so some of y'all, it's like, don't give up. Something here, it might not be coming when you want it. And some of y'all might be stressed because you think you ain't gonna get it. And then it's coming right out the blue. Yeah, the player got played. Are y'all waiting on somebody to get that karma? And it's like, every time you uh see this person, they seem to be doing good or something. Yeah, sudden weather change. All of a sudden, you finna watch this person go through whatever this karmic lesson is. But let's get another shuffle here. Yeah, we get reflection. Whatever the fuck it is they put you through, this finna be mirrored back to them. <laughs> oh, my. So, yeah, some of y'all like, oh, such and such hasn't gotten that karma. Woo, woo, woo. It's coming. Everything happened in divine timing. So let's see what comes out in this message here. Holy Spirit. My nose is really itching. What's the message here? Also, something here is about somebody's allergies. Somebody could have really bad allergies. Yeah, leave the past in the path. Some of y'all, I don't know what this is, but it feels like a, I can't say dwelling. But it's like somebody did you way too fucking dirty for them not to get that karma. Yeah, first 48 right here. Some of y'all honestly let that hurt and that anger go. I can't even say hurt at this point. I'm going to say anger. It's like if I ask what you say, yes. Ask what? Telepathic communication. Some of y'all been thinking about this person out of the blue. Or it's like you hear this person's voice or something like that. Yeah, lovers and friends right here. <laughs> Yeah, if I can't have you, no one can. I feel like you and this person ain't even been in contact, but all of a sudden, this person is like heavily thinking about you. Yeah, behavioral patterns, they do this shit all the time. Yeah, club rats, somebody could have gotten themselves entangled with a karmic energy that looked good to them, but wasn't good for them at all. It's something I heard about domestic violence as well. So whomever this person is, wherever they went, it's a lot of arguing and fighting and things like that going on behind closed doors. It ain't even just behind closed doors because I see somebody in a tank top walking out of a door. Somebody got on a tank top and it's either long shorts or it's like some sweatpants. They walking out of a door and somebody coming right behind them. And it's just like, yap, 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 yap. So this is not even just behind closed doors. This is out in front of the neighbors as well. <laughs> So it's like somebody right here, they karmic ass got a, got with a karmic. So yeah, this person is receiving their karma as we speak. Holy Spirit. Mm. Holy Spirit. Somebody here is also trying to speak to y'all through music. So I don't know if this person right here, somebody, they freestyle a lot. Like when they get with their friends or when they smoking or something or they just like listening to a lot of music. But I heard somebody freestyling. Man, you start freestyling, I'ma just gone head out. Like for real. I don't give a damn. We just lit the blunt. You start freestyling and I'm gonna head out. I can't fuck with it. But yeah, I'm getting that energy from this person right here. Yeah, something is significant about 36 months as well. They are the ops. So somebody right here started dealing with somebody that, you know, you possibly had words with or you, this person thought that, you know, start, tried to start some type of beef with you or something. Yeah, 24 hours. Oh, child. So <laughs> whomever, y'all, yeah, just get ready to be drug, drug into something. I don't know who you are, but this, this shit right here that's going on between whomever this person is, your ex. 
And then this person that they supposed to be dealing with, that they having arguments and fights and shit with, this karmic is finna start stalking you. Within the next 24 hours, this karmic is finna start stalking you. You could have been with this person 36 months. There could be a 36 month like age difference or something. Y'all could have been separated for this long. I'm not sure. But 24 hours and 36 months. First 48. Yeah. Yeah, somebody right here, they gonna fuck around and, and have the police call. Like, seriously. Somebody started dealing with one of their friends and it turned sexual or something and now it's just like completely done ruined the friendship. Mm. This is also so somebody is over there arguing about your ass again. Somebody wants to get married. <laughs> And somebody, because they've been, look, listen, listen, listen. So I don't know how long you've been separated from this person. They could have been with somebody for like three years or something like that. But it's like within the first 24 to 48 hours, somebody knew exactly that you were like marriage material or something. And they've been with somebody for a really long time. And they still haven't made a solid decision about this person, lovers and friends. And <laughs> so somebody is like, they don't they're not interested in really solidifying anything with the the third party although they've been in some type of situation shit with them for a while but they're arguing about you this they always argue about you that's why some of y'all ears and shit be itching all the damn time I don't know who this is trying to make it seem like boy they be talking back like a club rat. Like, why is somebody calling y'all a club rat? You went to the club one time when your baby was three years old and somebody just ain't let that shit just go yet. <laughs> like, what, what we doing? Some of y'all ain't been to the club and I don't know how damn long. As soon as you decide to step up in that motherfucker, somebody gonna be like, oh, rah, 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 rah. they always got something to say to you. Holy Spirit, what's the message here? I heard a name Malik. Yeah, we got Denmark here. There's a significant. I don't know if somebody done punched a hole in something and had to get it repaired. Yeah, we get cheater and we got energy vampire here. <laughs> I don't know shit. Somebody could just be from Denmark, but what I'm getting from this is somebody is over there fucking up, trying to fuck up somebody paint job on their damn car. This karmic right here, now look, you know how that person, y'all know who this is. I heard Kevion or Kate Kevon or something like that. This person right here used to try to get a reaction out of you by doing dumb shit. That karmic over there doing the same thing. Somebody is over here finna turn somebody car to shit. Keying somebody car, busting the windows, getting that bitch. It's something. Because somebody here, like I'm telling you, it's, they done been called cheating. So somebody, this third party actually thought that somebody had changed for them, fam. Yeah, they thought they had changed for them. Like, how? Why is it that every time they get into an argument about this person cheating, that your name get brought up? I'm so confused. <laughs> Yeah, sudden weather change right here. Somebody, oh goodness, somebody could have been trying to be faithful and then all of a sudden, boom, turn right back to they, um, to they streetways. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> this is crazy, this. Oh, wow. Holy Spirit. I heard Anthony. I heard cold. So I don't know if y'all live in like an area where it's cold or it's finna just out of nowhere. Like y'all don't have a cold in front of them. Yeah, we get compulsive liar right here. And then we get light a white candle. Somebody here is trying to come back to a child and they bringing baggage. 
They bring it back. It's point blank, period. They over here arguing and fighting and everything like that. Something got really, really heated, like bad. <laughs> but yeah, this person trying to come back towards y'all. Oh, damn, that was a lot of cards that fell. What's this right here? It says, do not ignore the red flags. You can't make this up. <laughs> yeah. All right, fam. Let's get back into this. I heard something rooster. I don't know what that's about, but I heard rooster. Oh, this there. What's the message? Hmm. Here's something about a blue Dodge Ram. Yeah, it says you see right through me and back to sleep. <laughs> so, y'all, this person gonna try to contact your ass and you gonna look at that phone and put it right back down. Yeah, it says don't get, don't get fucked up. You look, you look too good in that, uh, what? You look too good in that take it off. So, yeah, somebody right here, I don't know what it is, but they can see you. If you went to the club, fam, it came up like a week ago or something. If you went to the club, I don't know if you saw this person. This person saw you. Hell, they was in the club with this other person, and y'all all three ran into each other. If that's the case, it's been on and cracking ever since, baby. They've been arguing about your ass because somebody right here was Walla. They was <laughs> Walla? Walla. I don't know who Walla is or what that means. Walla in his self-pity. Okay, whatever. But yeah, somebody right here, they was watching your ass as you walked away. They they wanted to know who you was trying to impress and whatever the hell it is you have on. I mean, whatever it is you got on. My thing is, why is it any of their business? Because they up here laid up with somebody else. Whether well, it's going good or bad, they still laid up with somebody else. Holy Spirit. This person right here, they can, this is the type of person right here who, while you was with them, cheated consistently, compulsive cheater. Like habitual cheater. Yeah, but you better not make one wrong, thank you, Holy Spirit, one wrong move or let them catch you looking at nobody. It was going to be on and cracking right. I feel like that's what the problem that this person over here has with you. Because somebody right here, they're really, they still, even though y'all have been separated for however long, for one, seeing you again, if, even if this hasn't happened, you and this person going to run into each other somewhere. And seeing you again is going to bring up old feelings. And those feelings are way stronger than the ones that they have for the person that they're actually with. Yeah. I can't handle the thought of you with someone else. Exactly. Somebody here, they replay y'all's little sexual escapades over and over and over again. Hold up, because some of y'all were a third party to this person. Oh, wow. So some of y'all, this person was acting in a karmic energy when they were around you because they were absorbing a, uh, the karmic energy from whomever it is they're with or married to or something like that. Mm -hmm. Some third party keep trying to telepathically communicate with your ass as well. It's also something here about waking up with different kind of marks on you. Somebody ain't playing for her and they do shit all the time. So whomever this person is, this person that this person is with, they in they do shit energetically. So they could be into dark magic of some sort. They stalk you as well. Hmm. Yeah, it's like somebody here, they're either married to or in a relationship with somebody that's obsessed with them. And they sitting over here obsessed with you. Somebody could be showing up in y'all dreams as well. 
Yeah, there's a karmic energy trying to come through your dreams. That light a white candle. So it's like two mother. It's a karmic couple right here that's trying to come towards you with all this goddamn baggage. Physically and energetically. Yeah, it says, please, uh, please talk to me. Lord have mercy. Yeah, knock and boost. Lord have mercy. Yeah, this or that. I didn't know how to tell you. And then we have work and we got meeting of the minds. Some of y'all right here, knocking boots and meeting of the minds. Y'all are sapiosexuals. And I eat the same. <laughs> same. If you were a third party to this person, it really do feel like this person caught feelings for you when they weren't really meaning to. Somebody wanted something to be strictly sexual. But after talking to you, it's like, damn, your, the way your mind work is very, very sexual. I mean, very, very sexy to this person. So it's like this person have a really hard time getting over you and getting you out their mind because they've never met anyone like you before. This other person that they dealing with, it's like y'all are night and day here. So yeah, somebody right here, I don't know if you have this person telepathically blocked. You have them blocked from like your phone or your social media or whatever. But this person is like, please talk to me either way. But you got also y'all, you know, when you hear them voices, uh, sometimes you can't answer energy vampire and please talk to me. So yeah, if somebody want to talk to you, I suggest they show up in the physical. Cause y'all way too smart to fall for this bullshit right here with this energy vampire shit. Mm. Somebody is sleeping with somebody that they work with. So I don't know if this is you and somebody having a work relationship or something. Yeah, it just if that's the case, I see somebody walking right past somebody like they never fucking existed. Somebody is also kind of like giggling or they were at first when this this separation first started between y'all. This not for everybody. Of course, take what resonates and leave the rest. But if this is you in this work relationship and you know y'all separated for whatever reason here. This person thought it was actually kind of cute and funny that you were ignoring them before. Now they feel like it's very, very serious. And I feel like this person is panicking. So don't be surprised if they do start doing a little dumb shit to get your attention. Oh, that one flew. Yeah, it says be kind to yourself. Yeah. Hmm. Also, I mean, fam, I got to be real with you. If somebody right here, they don't want to talk to you, shit, you don't want to talk to them. If they don't want you, you don't want them. Yeah, but I'm somebody is definitely chasing, whether it be energetically or physically, but I feel like chasing energy out here. Somebody right here also, it's like you got energy vampires that's around you and it's like your energy is like a rare treat for them. <laughs> so, <laughs> so fam, this is the best way I can get it. Like somebody having had a hard day at work, right? And you know how somebody, they'll go out and have a drink. Somebody here, they'll come and feed off your ass. I, and, and I don't know how they doing it. Shit, it, that, but that is exactly what it is. It's like some, it's like you. The, I'm here in San Francisco tree, so some of y'all could be in San Francisco. I ain't that rice around me though. The truth about Roni. Sorry, y'all. Yeah, look, it came out. The player got played. <laughs> oh my goodness. So it feel like this person right here. Pretty much they played themselves. I don't, either way it go, whether this person was with you and then start dealing with somebody else or this person put you in some type of third party, it ain't working out for them at all. They've been caught. They've been found out. Your ass done left them. They got this crazy bitch over here yelling at them in the yard. It's just a, it's a mess over there. Holy Spirit. Yeah, this they pretty much the the couple got played. Yeah, we got courage right here. Somebody, if they got they got nerve. It's the audacity for me and everything else. Because this person is finna come back towards you. 
Yeah, but they still haven't completely ended something with this person that they with. And if that this is causing this karmic to watch you. I'm telling you, whomever this karmic is that they booed up with, they ghosted. They haven't said it's over, but they just left. Yeah. They ghosted that ass, 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 ass. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody know it could be Nikki. <laughs> Hell, for all I know, this Cormac couple could have been over there involved in, you know, menage a trois. You know what I'm talking about? They just over there being karmic as fuck together. Oh, this dead. Yeah, we got Don't Give Up right here. We got a shitload that fell on the uh, floor. And then we got pick up your hood feeling. Somebody right here. Oh, my goodness. This is a whole lot that fell out of this. Well, not really. Yeah, we got 1.21 p.m. or a.m. Something here could be significant about October. We got Twisted by Keith Sweat. I think that's what that say. Yeah, we got Feeding by Jodeci. Red Light Special. Superhero Vibes. We got Tyrone. And we got Unblock Me. So, somebody now it could be Erica. It could be Tyrone. Somebody could be from Houston. Some of y'all could even be the black sheet of the family. Spirit wants you to uh, take some time to love on yourself as well. Some of y'all could have been doing it because you're celibate and stuff. I get where you're coming from. Yeah, but there's somebody right here. This person had you all the way fucked up if they thought you was going to be some type of bedtime boo to them. And that's it. Like, you was just going to be good with that. And you know what I'm talking about? Uh, letting somebody, you know, pounce on you. They, no. Yeah, you like, nah, get somebody else to do it. I ain't mad at you. Yeah, block this person. <laughs> somebody is trying to harvest your energy through sex. This is crazy as hell. Some of y'all slept with this. I'm telling you, baby, once they get a taste of you, they can't let you go. Somebody had been messed up ever since they, 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 you know, got a little bit of, you know, your energy here. Superhero vibes. Yeah. This motherfucker right here, when they get your energy, they feel 22 with 11. They feel like they can do anything. Look, courage. <laughs> this motherfucker right here, they feel like they can fly and shit. When they, get your, when they get your energy, hell yeah. So that's why they over here like this or that. Like they, It's like they got in there invested with somebody, but they'd rather be over here with you. Like this is a mess. I still feel like this person is only interested in what serves them. Because I'm telling you, you come back, they're going to try to cipher your energy to do whatever. And who knows, they might just leave again and take it over her. Uh, this is craziness. Okay, this don't even want to. What is this? That spiritual. And then we got, let me love you. That's what I'm saying. Somebody right here, baby, they, they need that, that divine masculine, that divine feminine energy here. This makes this person feel powerful. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, okay, I feel you. Then where are we going? See, this is what I'm talking about. Somebody right here, they got with a distorted feminine. They thought that because this person was spiritual, that they would carry the same energy and mindset and all that is you. No, it didn't even go that way. This person got the exact opposite. So they thought that they was going to go over here and cipher. So this is somebody right here. They're a spiritual whatever the hell. Spirit, I don't, I don't know what it, they even call this person because it's like they prey on spiritual people right here. So this don't this we this person over here they could have been all you know love and light when they got with this person and then all of a sudden where twisted go somebody right here they just got out of character because they dealing with this person yeah sleeping with this person ain't good this is giving like incubus energy but somebody met they goddamn match when they came across you because damn you like the sweetest thing they ever fucking known. Somebody's name could be Lauren. Something significant about pretzels. This is a lot. So somebody done took a spiritual person all out they element. Yeah, that's why it's important for you to 
be mindful who it is that you sleep with. Yeah, are we are we really over divine timing? The universe most high is coming through on your behalf. So it really do feel like some of y'all right here. Hell, you could have ghosted this person, did say one word, just left them. Hmm. So is this who some of y'all slept with this person one time and one time only? And then you like left this person on red or something like that? Oh my God, fam. What are we doing? Because it's a lot coming out in this message. 25, 22. So somebody want to know like, okay, is this real? Can they? So we ain't never going to do this again, huh? So you ain't going to never give me no more of that divine oodie oo, huh? This is absolutely nuts. Yeah, this is craziness. I'm getting tired of your shit. <laughs> you don't never buy me a beat. Y'all know I can't sleep. Yeah, somebody could be a Taurus right here. Let go. This is the end. <laughs> somebody needs to accept this end and then move on. Yeah, it's like they made their bed over here with this person, so they need to go lay in it and leave you the hell out of all of this because this is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, but it feel like somebody is stubborn. They like, it's not over until I say it's over. Yeah, so you see what I'm talking about? Hmm. So that's what this ego death is to this narcissist. You call the ending where this person feel like they should be the one doing it. Yeah, so this person is the, is used to being the aggressor or, you know, the heartbreaker or the lever in the situation. And you turned your back on this person <laughs> after whatever the hell y'all did. Or I don't know what the hell is going on here. Maybe it wasn't like a, a one-time thing. Maybe it was like an ongoing. I don't know. But either way it go, it really do feel like you need to cleanse this person from your energy. Seriously, because it's not good. Their energy is terrible. And the person that they with, their energy is trash as well. Whether they were trash energy before this person got with them or, you know, their energy turned to trash after dealing with this person. Because I ain't going to lie, it's giving incubus. Like somebody right here, they like to get their claws into divine females or, you know, masculine succubus, incubus, whatever. There's no gender intro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know I messed everything up. Y'all be mindful of people trying to come back and pull on your heartstrings and things like that. I feel like this, though. Some of y'all, you knew that this person right here, you weren't really supposed to be dealing with them because you got, you, got you got signs from the most high and everything. But it's something about your ass wanting to be sure. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all could have unblocked this person and, you know... Things just, you know, we're the same or even worse or whatever. Yeah, you're always on my mind. Yeah, we got fairy vibes and best intentions. Y'all are the best that this person has ever had. Like, seriously. This person right here, they intended to put that thing, thing, either the WAP or the magic stick on you and keep themselves on your mind. Like, you would be chasing behind them like everybody else. And it didn't work that way. This person that ran up on that real real when they came, to, you know, 2018. Yeah, when they came in contact with you, yeah, they wasn't ready, fam. It's like the vibe. It don't even have to just be about sex. It's just the vibe, period. It's more peaceful. This person liked that. So this, yeah, this narcissist, it's like they wanted to switch. It's like they had a supply over here and they thought that you was going to be that, you know, their best supply, like the, their endless supply or whatever the fuck. And you took it all away from them. So, yeah, I feel like this person is pissed off. They're confused. That could be another reason why, you know, they're over here arguing with this person and everything else. Like, yeah, it's a lot going on over here, wherever this person is. Whew. Somebody right here, it's like they don't want to feel the way that they feel about you. But shit, you can't help who you love or who you have feelings for. Yeah. So somebody feel like they're all the way in love with you or something like that. It can even be just in love with your you know, your sexual energy and you don't want nothing else to do with them. Yeah, you're doing exactly what you are called to do. Mother, sister, brother, aunt, cousin is working against you. Oh, my goodness. Okay, y'all. Mm. Yeah, it's time for y'all to leave a lot of people exactly where the hell they got you fucked up at. 
Because it's like you sitting over here and you're, you know, most high God calls us to be loving, you know, give when we can or, you know, things like that. And you got some people right here that wouldn't spit on your ass if you was on fire. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all even got your family over here trying to do some type of motherfucking magic on your ass to get you like all discombobulated or confused or, or something like that. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Somebody right here is also working with the Fae. Somebody right here, they didn't hold up their end of a deal as well. But we're not even finna get into that. Holy Spirit. What's the message here? Thank you. Yeah, we got jealous of your gifts. So some of y'all, your brother, your mother, sister, brother, aunt, uncle, cousin, whomever this is, they're jealous of your intuitive gifts. Yeah, I told you it's a workplace relationship here. Somebody sitting up here with this bull crap talking about I lied because I love you. No, karma, you lie because your ass is a lying, compulsive lying ass karmic. Yeah, we got 444 four, four right here. Yeah, and we got watching too much. Some of you, somebody's trying to throw y'all the evil eye. So be mindful of that energy. Somebody is watching y'all. Also, there is somebody compulsively watching Tarot to, to try to, it's like spying through divination or something like that as well. But yeah, if you're wondering if you're on the right path, most I'm saying yeah. But also, you know, continue to watch your surroundings, watch your, I'm hearing something about watch your tongue. Yeah, I can't sleep. What I did to you stays on my mind. So somebody right here, they pretty much over there driving themselves crazy, arguing with the karma because that person is not you and things like that. So this could be somebody right here that jumped into another relationship right after they separated from y'all or whatever. Yeah, they gained mind control over this person but couldn't get your ass under control if they tried. You're not to be controlled. You ain't no goddamn child or no fucking animal. Some of y'all could be seeing 444 four, four a lot. Yeah, we got controlling right here. If this person thought that they was going to control you, like the, these chicken heads that they be dealing with, they got you all the way messed up. Yeah, Hollywood celebrity right here. So I don't know if somebody is all the way in the spotlight. Hell, I don't know who watched my channel. For all I know, this could be something that's going on on TV. With the watching too much and Hollywood celebrities, somebody could be binge watching something. Also, fam, you be mindful of what it is you listen to and what you watch because that will have a definite effect on your energy here. Yeah, we get domestic violence. Oh, my goodness. So, there could be a Hollywood celebrity right here that need to get some help because it's some domestic violence right here Eve, this could be emotional this could be mental abuse yeah but it's going on behind closed doors just like i said over here so it don't have to be a hollywood celebrity but this couple right here they could be very much so well known you could be well known whatever the fuck yeah we got 11 11 right here some of y'all could be seeing a lot of angel numbers some of y'all, this could even be like a twin or something like that. Yeah, let bygones be bygones. And we got karmic is watching your every move. And we got watching too much right here. So y'all got a karmic energy that's stalking y'all behind possibly your twin flame. Or if this is not your twin, this person feels like this uh, This person is coming, wanting to come towards you is their twin. And they're trying to control the outcome of the situation right here. Somebody could dibble and dabble in magic here, I'm telling y'all. It's a lot coming out here. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, our song hunts me. So I'm telling you, somebody keep trying to speak to y'all telepathically. It's a lot coming out here, fam. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. Yeah, we got Karmic right here. And then Heartbreak Hotel. This Karmic is really going through some shit. So it's like somebody's stalking you through to, uh, through music. This karmic is sitting around listening to a lot of music and it's putting them deeper and deeper in their feelings. So that's why this was over here. Like 24, within 24 hours, something about they are the ops. So yeah, whomever, the, it's, it's some people coming towards y'all or it's a person. I feel like it's a couple, but they're coming towards you at different times. But both of them are definitely coming towards you. 
Holy Spirit. We get a few more cards and we got to end this message. Yeah, look, we got Psycho. God damn. And we do got the first 48 over here. It couldn't be you or on um, his or her best day. So somebody right here, I'm telling you, they watch you. They're jealous of you. They stalk you and everything else. Y'all might have to call the police on this person for real. I'm even hearing some. You know what? Whomever this couple is, this, this, the female energy don't even matter. No gender in row. One of them is watching the other one. And as soon as this person comes towards you, fam, you might witness them outside in like your parking lot if you live in an apartment or, you know, somewhere close to the vicinity where you live having an argument because this person knows exactly where they're going and somebody definitely wants to come to you. Oh my goodness. Whomever this person is, they feel like everybody is against them. Yeah, somebody got, they got mental health issues bad. It's karmic. Somebody is like, who, who do you want? They need, they like, make a choice. Woo, woo, woo. Why, you ain't even an option. So it's, I'm telling you, it's a lot of drama going on about you that you're not even involved in. Holy Spirit. <laughs> really have to decipher this message because it's pretty much going everywhere yeah say what you want just don't put your hands on me exactly somebody better understand yeah you look all sweet in the face and everything but ain't shit sweet they can say whatever they want but once it start getting a swinging baby it's on and motherfucking popping somebody gonna be drugged to hell they better understand that you just look like that but you can get you can get with the shits yeah, you try your best to control this situation, but goddamn, they need to understand that before you were a divine feminine, before you evolved, you also had a lot of karmic energy in you. So they ain't doing shit that your ass ain't already done. So somebody, I suggest that they stand the fuck down for real. That somebody also with that 444, they need to realize how protected you are and your ancestors ain't got no problem with getting buck on their ass. Yeah, your ancestors I already see that these people are watching you. So don't ever think that your spirit team ancestors, your guides and things like that. They watching these people watch you. Yes, they are. Family or not, you got a family full of fucking karmics right here, too. And they are jealous of your ass because you woke the fuck up and they can't control your ass no more. Somebody was doing shit to make your ass seem like you was crazy as the absolute fuck. But now that your ass, they can't do it no more. They're facing karma. Your family is going through judgment. That's why they keep such a watchful eye on you, fam. Somebody right here, I don't know what this is that your family did to control you, but they talking about they did it because they love you. I don't know what this is. You know what I just heard? Somebody heard, somebody had somebody sterilized. Yeah. I don't know what this is about somebody being really fucking drowsy and not being able to really remember anything. Hmm. Somebody try to get somebody locked up. Because it's like under heavy medication as well. Yeah. These people going to have to pay for what the fuck it is they doing to you. Or they have done to you or whatever this is yeah damn that's a lot i'm not gonna take all those it says lovers and friends right there though Holy Spirit. somebody right here gonna end up in a mental institution like seriously and they're not gonna be able to check themselves out this could even be something i'm telling you it feel like somebody right here Psycho in first 48, somebody right here making somebody seem like they really crazy. Or I'm telling you, somebody did not act in this manner until they got with this person. So take the energy how it resonates. But it's giving strong energy here of a karmic family trying to get y'all ass put away because you all the way motherfucking woke. And they could be afraid of you, you know, uh, speaking out about some things that happened, you know, in your childhood or something. Somebody could be a childhood celebrity. Whatever this is, your, your family wants you to let it go. Yeah, leave the past in the past. Hell to the now. This person right here, I don't even want to talk about them with their narcissistic ass. Yeah, Scorpio right here. Pregnancy, fertility. What was I just telling y'all? Somebody right here, they did something to your fertility or something like that. 
Yeah, we got STD right here. And we got lights, camera, action. Somebody's getting ready to tell their fucking story. Also, something here is going to be illuminated when somebody goes to the doctor because somebody's finding out they're pregnant as well as they've contracted some type of STD here. So that could be another reason why somebody is over here fucking uh, arguing like crazy. Somebody could have gotten somebody else pregnant. Somebody contracted an STD. It's a whole lot of shit going on out here, fam. But whatever it is, it's like it's being exposed. And it says, lights, camera, action. All eyes on you. Who is this Hollywood celebrity that's watching y'all? <laughs> y'all got, who is this person? Somebody here is watching the shit out of y'all. This could be a Scorpio. Somebody else, y'all finna see a Hollywood a celebrity on the goddamn news for one reason or another. Hell, we didn't all seen P. Diddy ass. So, hey, that ain't nothing new. Yeah. But it's something else going to come out, child. So y'all just keep your eyes open for it. Let me know, child. Because y'all know I don't watch the news. I don't know shit unless I'm like uh, on uh, YouTube or somebody mentioned it to me. Hell, half the time when I'm on YouTube, if I ain't subscribed to the channel, I ain't going to see it. Yeah, but y'all are definitely on the right path here, fam. Let me get y'all some signs so we can get up out of here. Mm -mm -mm. This person that draws somebody absolutely nuts. So you know what? That's another thing. That 444 God protection. Rejection for protection. Or you know, walking away from this person. Or I don't know what this is, but whatever it is, you protected yourself. Most high protect you. Uh, you out here having sex, just use condoms or whatever. Because you never know what the hell somebody got. I mean, you know, if somebody always won't keep them lights out, hell no. Turn them on. Turn them on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. What's the signs associated with this message right here? Spirit is telling me to look deeper into something. What do you want me to look into? Oh, snippets. Okay, so y'all turn it down. I don't know who you are, but there's a... Who are you? What do you do that there's a celebrity here? This person tries to cipher your energy for one reason or another. Or, you know, somebody... Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but Spirit want me to look deeper. Divine timing. Fiending. Somebody right here been siphoning y'all energy for a really fucking long time. And now your energy is completely protected and this person is panicking. Yeah, so y'all been hearing that there's like energy vampires out here and they need your energy and all this other kind of shit. One of these people that want your energy is some type of Hollywood celebrity. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because I'm telling you, it's like, I don't know if this is an actor or a singer or whatever it is, but somebody right here, they feel invincible. When they are able to uh, cipher your in, somebody here is also trying to get into your head, protect your crown chakra. They do this all the time. I don't understand why spirit want me to look deeper at this. Hmm. Somebody here, if you work, you had a work relationship, they possibly left, left you for somebody else. That situation has ended, and now they want to come back towards you. Yeah, so be mindful of people wanting to come back towards y'all, seriously, because something else done ended here. Yeah, they do this shit all the time. Probably not to you, but to other people. It's like, yeah, they, been, they do this. I don't know what this is that Spirit wants me to look at. Somebody's a singer. Hmm. Somebody's name could be Jasmine. Hmm. Yeah, that could definitely be an age difference. Somebody could be around the ages of 48. 
But yeah, let's let's get some signs. I got Scorpio on the bottom of the deck. I got October right here. So somebody could be a Libra or a Scorpio. And look at that, Scorpio. 44, uh, 43. So we got October the 8th out here. Scorpio right here is the number 8. So October the 8th is very significant. Holy Spirit, what's the signs that we can be associated with this message? Yeah, we got an Earth sign right here. Yeah, Taurus. 26 and 2. We get Cancer. We get Libra. Two more, please, Holy Spirit. We get Moon right here. And we get Gemini. With Aquarius at the bottom of the deck. So, Gemini, Taurus, Scorpio, Cancer, Libra, and we have Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. With Aquarius at the bottom of the deck. This could be somebody's moon sign. Well, you know. But anywho, fam, that's the message that I have for you. Hopefully, you can, you know, cipher through this or whatever and it give you some type of clarity. If it does, y'all, please hit the like button for me. Comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, y'all. I'm really, really trying to grow the channel. <laughs> and yeah, it helps me out a lot. But yeah, also personal readings as well as the memberships are open. If you're interested, all that information can and will be found in the description box of the channel. It's always my pleasure, of course, fam. I thank y'all so much for allowing me to read for y'all. I'm sending you guys loving, healing energy wherever y'all may be in this crazy ass. Somebody's name could be Nadine or somebody call somebody Nelly or Natty. Yeah, but I'm sending you guys loving, healing energy wherever y'all may be in this crazy ass world. And we'll most definitely get back up.